We can cross to Madrid for more on that story with uh, Sarah Morris. Uh, hi, Sarah. What more can you tell us about this breaking story? Well, Bolaños, uh, the government minister you mentioned, has given a surprise press conference uh, in which he gave very brief data, really. He said that uh, uh, Pedro Sanchez, the Spanish prime minister, had his phone uh, targeted along with the defence minister, Margarita Robles. And he talked about extraction of data in May and June of 2021. Uh, in the case of uh, Pedro Sanchez, in one uh, data extraction, 130 mega uh, watts uh, megas of data were taken. Now, he called the uh, extraction illicit. He said it was also external targeting. And he said that the state lawyer had reported this case uh, to the uh, Spanish uh, High Court. And, and normally, we would expect them to open an investigation. Uh, now, uh, no more details about the motivations or who could have been behind this uh, uh, data extraction was given. Uh, Bolaño said he wouldn't get into uh, the, to speculation. But, of course, uh, there has been a lot of speculation because the timing of it uh, would coincide uh, with two events. One, a breakdown in diplomatic relations with Morocco over the treatment of a member of the uh, Sorari uh, Polisari front here in Madrid. And the second uh, piece of uh, 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 facts, really, that were happening at that uh, time uh, were the pardons that were rewarded by the Spanish government uh, for the Catalan members of the independence movement convicted in relation to that 2017 attempt to break Catalonia away from the rest of the Spanish state. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, a data uh, agency, Citizens Lab, also said uh, that about 60 members of uh, Catalan separatist groups, including uh, the separatist government, had also been targeted uh, by Pegasus software. Sarah Morris, thanks for that update.